The results are in for Nail's Next Top Nail Artist 6 Challenge. This challenge, sponsored by Gel2, asks contestants to think of their favorite skyline and built it on 10 nail tips. The challenge took us literally around the world, from Memphis to New York, Stockholm, Seoul, and then to a post-apocalyptic Atlanta, the Walking Dead style. For the winner, we took a detour down under and visited a miniature Sydney, Australia, complete with the Opera House, Starlit Waters, and a lurking shark. Sarah's whimsical yet realistic depiction of the famous city was praised for its restraint. One judge commented that less is more in Sarah's overall design, where the space between is magical. You can read more of the judges' comments on our results page. It was a tight race this week, but as always, the one contestant with the lowest overall score must be eliminated. This week, Hallie Fortenberry will pack up her paintbrushes, but she will have one more chance to stay in the game, entering C&D's Last Chance Design Lab. In the last challenge, Victoria beat out Tan with a single nail tip depicting her dazzling dedication to bling. This week's challenge for Victoria and Hallie. Hand paint a rustic country scene to get away from city living. The winner will be chosen by Jan Arnold herself and will compete with next week's eliminated contestant. And now we're ready for challenge seven, sponsored by China Glaze. To celebrate China Glaze's new nail art collection, as well as Pablo Picasso's 134th birthday, Contestants were asked to paint a Picasso-inspired masterpiece on a single hand. They could paint whatever they wanted as long as it was in Picasso's style. Polish had to make up at least 50% of the nail design. Vote for your favorite entries by Thursday at nailsmag.com NTNA 2015. We also want to see your own take on this challenge on social media using hashtag Jellish Play at Home. Submit your best work and you can win a prize. So get your nail game on, go vote, and we'll see you next week. And best of luck to our Week 7 contestants.